welcome back. So today I'm in the village of Hauki, which is a mountain village here in Naxos. It is one of my most favorite mountain villages here. Um, it's super beautiful and there are lots of historic sites to see. Um, because it's October, um, some of the things won't be open, but we can at least see the outside and see the beauty of Hauki. The other thing is, I like Hauki because you can get here on the public bus. Um, you don't have to rent a car um, in the high season. It probably comes a lot more often than it does today. Um, but I can spend about two and a half hours here before I have to get back on the bus. So not bad, actually. Um, I may even be able to have dinner here, or not dinner, lunch here. Okay, so I've decided to eat first. Um, you can't really miss this restaurant. It's right in the center of Hauke, um, and usually you can see uh, there's meat roasting on a spit down there, um, sometimes, not today. But it's really beautiful with a natural shade of trees here. you can hear me over the uh, noise of this restaurant's thing behind me, um, but I'm now going to walk to St. George Church. Uh, I've done it before, it's a really nice walk and the church is really beautiful. So there are two ways to come. One is longer, but a little bit <clears throat> more paved. I came from that way, which was fine, except that it smelled really bad because there's, there's like farm animals down there. Um, but it was much quicker. Hello. Hello. Okay, so the other thing about Naxos is there are hiking trails all through the mountains. I wish I was more of a hiker because it's really refreshing out here. Um, I didn't even bring shoes to do that in. I mean, I guess I could go in my sneakers, um, but I guess it would be okay. But today I'm wearing flip-flops. Um, but it is so nice and cool out here. It's in the 70s, but the breeze is blowing and it's sunny. It's really, really nice. And there it is. The Church of St. George is a Byzantine church. And uh, in the summer, you can go inside. They have volunteers that come and open it. And apparently there's some amazing paintings inside. I never come in the summer because A, I don't come to Greece in the summer because it's so crowded. Um, so I get to see the inside of this place. stunningly beautiful. So St. George Church sits sort of in an olive grove and these olive trees are huge. I mean, I wonder how old it is. Mm. And I just love the sound of the rustling of the trees in the wind. Oh, look at the beautiful view. to finding the Church of St. George is to go to the Volkswagen Beetle in town and go past it and follow that road and then you will see this sign. There is the path that I took earlier um, but again I don't think I'd go that way. Go this way, it's flatter, it's mostly paved and there are no stinky farm animals. <laughs> so. Naxos is known for a, kit, a liquor called Kitron. It's made from a Kitron fruit. And this is one of the big distilleries here in Naxos. When I say big, I mean small, but um, it's the most well-known. Um, and you can go inside 
and take a little walk around their museum and they still make it on certain days but not every day. So Naxos was once a Venetian duchy. A man by the name of Marco Sanudo uh, came here in the 11th century and founded the Duchy of Naxos. So frequently you see these Venetian towers all over Naxos and one of them happens to be here in Halki. You can't go inside though. Uh, I think it's owned privately. Several of them around the island are homes. But it's still pretty cool to see and they pretty much all look the same. They kind of have all this square fortress-like appearance. I wish you could go inside though. It would probably look pretty amazing on the inside. So this is the Fish and Olive Pottery Gallery. It is stunning. You can't film in or take photographs inside, otherwise I would show you, but um, it's beautiful. Um, I can't afford to buy anything in there, but it's worth going in to see it. I think the cats must be waiting to be fed. They're slowly gathering more and more of them. Uh, and two of them let me pet them. <laughs> So as you can see, they need to help. It was a good idea for a couple of hours of coming to Nexus. Some little beautiful things to see here. Uh, it's pretty small, so you can walk around in a couple of hours. Um, I got here at 2 o'clock, and the bus leaves in about 30 minutes. And I've seen almost everything. <laughs> and I've been here before. Um, it's just kind of a nice, relaxing getaway um, from Nexus Town, if you need one. Which you probably don't, but you know, you should come and see it. It's really weird.